Hello friends, I welcome you all in our lecture series on the subject internal combustion engines and gas turbines. Today, let us discuss about the port timing diagram of a two stroke engine. Here, initially we will be discussing about the constructional details of an IC engine, sorry, two stroke engine, be followed by the working of a two stroke engine and finally we will be coming to our actual discussion of port timing diagram for a two stroke engine. Uh, we know that a two stroke engine is that in which all the operations related to one complete cycle like suction, compression, expansion, exhaust are completed in only two strokes of the piston. This is made possible by the simplified construction of the two stroke engine when compared to that of a four stroke engine where it requires four stroke for the completion of the cycle. Therefore, it is important to understand the construction of a two stroke engine before we discuss the four timing diagram. So let us start. So uh, basically uh, a two stroke engine is something like this where you can see you have uh, what we call as a inlet wall. So this wall is uh, which uh, allows the mixture to come in and this happens when when the piston is moving up and a negative pressure is created over here. So the pressure difference is being created between the inside of the crankcase and outside that is atmospheric and which makes the mixture to flow in. So initially the mixture comes into the crankcase then through the transfer port it is supposed to move to the combustion chamber and that means the whenever the transfer port is opening the mixture will go into the uh, combustion chamber and whenever this exhaust port is opening then uh, the mixture is going out through the uh, from the combustion chamber so the, the three points to be uh, important over here is the inlet wall the transfer port opening and closing and the exhaust wall opening and closing so that is uh, where we have uh, the important parts of a uh, combustion. So let us now discuss about the operation of a two-stroke engine. So this is a basically a two-stroke engine. Now um, as we have already discussed that the two-stroke engine uh, cycle is completed in only two strokes. So uh, we can consider piston initially moving from TDC to BDC and then uh, from BDC to TDC. So let us start uh, discussing about what happens when the piston is moving to, from TDC to BDC. So as the piston mo starts moving from top dead center, you can see uh, the expansion is happening. That is uh, the uh, combustion was happening over here and the piston is being pressed down. So the, uh, since the pressure is applying uh, applied on the piston, the piston is moving down and we say the expansion starts. So the expansion starts from TDC and uh, the, the expansion will continue until this location where the piston is just above the exhaust port. Uh, so uh, it is going to end. The expansion is going to end because the moment it uh, opens the exhaust port, the exhaust starts and all the pressure is relieved uh, since the gases are flowing out through the exhaust port. So uh, it was eff effective expansion from TDC to this location and thereafter your exhaust uh, starts. And further as it move, moves down, you can see the transfer board is also open and uh, therefore suction also starts, that is mixture starts coming into the combustion chamber. Now let us discuss what happens when the piston is moving from BDC to TDC. So as the piston initially moves from BDC to TDC, initially the transfer port is uh, closing. So uh, the, as the transfer port closes, your suction is going to end. Then your exhaust port is uh, closed uh, at that time your exhaust is also going to end and from this particular location your effective compression starts and the effective compression is going to end when the piston reaches uh, top dead center so uh, in, uh, in all uh, when the piston moves down uh, initially expansion happen then exhaust happens and then suction happens and that when the piston is at uh, bottom dead center the exhaust and uh, the ex suction is going on then it starts moving up and as the transfer board close suction ends 
as the exhaust port closes the exhaust ends and thereafter your compression is happening uh, and finally the piston reaches top dead center so this is how a two stroke engine works so now let us uh, discuss about what we call as a port timing diagram so where uh, where is this uh, point coming uh, into picture the port timing so basically we are we just now discussed that the ports the exhaust port and the inlet ports are opening and closing as the piston is moving up and down so the graphical representation of the timing of the opening and the closing timing of the ports and the walls in a two stroke engine is denoted uh, on a polar diagram so this particular graphical representation is what you call as a port timing diagram so let us see how this uh, we are getting so basically so this is a two stroke engine we have here you can see the exhaust port transfer port inlet wall etc now we will be using this abbreviations ivo corresponds to inlet wall opening we will be using ivc corresponds to inlet wall closing epo corresponds to exhaust port opening uh, tpo corresponds to transfer port opening tpc corresponds to transfer port closing and epc corresponds to exhaust port closing so this abbreviation we will be using uh, for discussion of the port timing diagram so let us see what a port so basically a port uh, timing diagram for a two stroke engine is something like this uh, wherein you can see where you have two strokes that is initially the piston is supposed to move from tdc to bdc and then from bdc to tdc so this is a graphical representation of what happens in one complete rotation of the uh, crankshaft or the two strokes of the piston so let us uh, start how we are, we are going to get this particular diagram so uh, initially we assume that the piston is uh, moving uh, uh, from bdc to tdc and it is almost have re almost reached uh, tdc and ignition happens so when the ignition happens over here the combustion starts and uh, uh, here you can see the inlet wall has already opened that we will be discussing later so ignition now hap uh, happens uh, and the piston is moving towards tdc so now after reaching the uh, tdc the piston uh, is supposed to move down towards bdc so uh, you can see as the piston moves from tdc to bdc after around 50 degrees from uh, bdc uh, sorry tdc the inlet wall is closing which was which had already opened here is now closing here why it is closing because the as the piston is moving down a positive pressure pressure is being developed inside the crankcase and due to that this particular wall which is preferably like a reed wall is getting closed and therefore now your uh, inlet which is coming in has been stopped and you can see from here uh, since the tdc uh, piston is moving from tdc to downward direction we can say that the expansion is happening and the expansion is continued uh, until the uh, exhaust port is opened over here it is around 70 degree before bottom dead center so around 70 degree before uh, uh, bottom dead center bdc the exhaust port is opening and you can see as uh, the uh, exhaust port is open the, the pressure is relieved and therefore we say the effective expansion ends so the expansion is really happening from tdc to the point where the ex uh, exhaust port is opening so now uh, since the exhaust port is opened uh, the pressure is relieved inside the combustion chamber and therefore no no pressures or uh, very uh, negligible pressure is acting on the piston now further uh, the piston moves down and you can see here the uh, transfer port is also open and therefore the fresh charge comes in so the, since the fresh charge is coming in and inside the combustion chamber is your burned gases so the incoming fresh charge is now pushing the uh, the burned gases from this side and you can see since the exhaust port is open over here already open the the uh, the burned gases will be pushed out through the exhaust port that is what we call a scavenging so as we already discussed what is a scavenging scavenging is the process of flushing out of the burned gases from the cylinder uh, with the help of incoming mixture and that starts when the uh, the, uh, the transfer port is open and this particular scavenging so scavenging is happening uh, and finally your uh, piston reaches bdc so uh, here 
the exhaust port opened and your expansion ended and when the transport port opened your scavenging starts and you can see over here we started from TDC and now your piston has reached BDC and at BDC what is the condition the condition is the suction is uh, going on and exhaust is also going on and piston is now at bottom dead center so now let us discuss what happens when the piston is moving from BDC to TDC so uh, now the piston is at BDC where uh, suction and uh, exhaust both are going on and let us see what happens when the piston is moving up from BDC so uh, as the piston moves up you can see uh, around uh, 60 degree from uh, after uh, bottom red center the transfer port is closed so when the transfer port is closed now the fresh charge which was coming through the transfer port closed so that pushing action which was required for the scavenging is ended and therefore we say uh, at this particular location the scavenging is going to end so the scavenging started from here and the scavenging ended over here that is scavenging started from when uh, the transport port opened and when transport port closed your scavenging is going to end now further the piston moves up and your exhaust port is also closed so at this location that is around 70 degree after uh, bottom dead center your exhaust port is closed now once the, the, the exhaust port is closed the mixture which has already come uh, uh, already uh, came in from the transfer port is being trapped over here and there is no way it can go out so the mixture is being trapped and further any further motion of the piston will result in a compression so your effective compression is going to start when the exhaust port has been closed so from here your exp uh, a, a compression starts and continues uh, the piston continues its upward motion and you can see as the piston moves over here so at, at around uh, 50 degrees before the bottom dead center that is piston has moved up and before uh, uh, the 50 degrees before the uh, piston reaches top dead center the sufficient vacuum has been created inside the crankcase which results in opening of this particular reed wall and that results in sucking in the mixture from the uh, atmosphere that is uh, through the carburetor uh, the mixture is coming into the uh, crankcase so the mixture is now here uh, since the uh, inlet wall is opened and uh, as uh, we have already said that the um, on the upper side the compression is happening and further at, as it moves ignition happens and piston reaches QDC and uh, the cycle will be continued again and again that is uh, in every one uh, rotation of the crankshaft all the four process that is initially when it is coming down it was expansion uh, exhaust and uh, suction and here suction ends here exhaust ends and the compression happening uh, and your cycle is completed when the piston reaches TDC so this is how we get what we call as a four timing diagram and here you can see uh, you can also note that the ignition is around uh, some degrees before that is around 10 to 20 degrees before uh, top dead center the uh, spark is getting ignited for the combustion of the uh, so uh, the here whatever we denote it on this particular port diagram is the close opening and closing of the inlet wall opening and the closing of the exhaust port and opening and closing of the transfer port along with the uh, spark so that is about the uh, port timing diagram for a two stroke uh, engine and finally you can say here the piston has reached top dead center so this is uh, a port timing diagram for a petrol engine where you can see the red one indicating over here is the effective expansion the blue one indicating the effective compression and this is uh, corresponding to the uh, from the point where we can say the transfer port is opening to transfer port closing your scavenging was happening okay so this was uh, around 120 degrees uh, corresponding to this 120 degree your scavenging is happening and this is the location where your uh, ignition is uh, happening now when compared to this uh, two stroke uh, diesel engine uh, the port uh, its port timing, di port timing diagram is also similar to this so here on this side it is almost similar the only difference here is that instead of a uh, ignition uh, 
starting of the ignition over here here we have the injection starting and injection closing that is fuel injection starts over here and fuel injection ends over here and this continues for a period of around 25 degrees of the crankshaft rotation so the fuel supply is uh, ranging for a period of uh, 25 degrees of the crank rotation and here also we have a similar um, effective expansion stroke from here to here and effective compression stroke from here to here and the scavenging obviously happening here so uh, the port diagram diagram of a petrol engine and a diesel engine is almost similar with the only difference that here we are on a, a petrol engine port diagram diagram we have the spark uh, point while here we will be showing the starting of injection and ending of injection point so that is about the port timing diagram for a two-stroke engine. Thanks. Thanks a lot.